Hi folks, Glenn here with another video for you. This week, rather than doing a Photoshop video, I thought I'd do a photography related video. And it's just a quick lighting tip. I've had a few people ask me about how am I lighting these one light portraits I'm doing where we've got really nice lighting on one side of the face and just like a little triangle of light on the other side. Now that's called cross lighting, it used to be called Rembrandt lighting, and it's really, really simple. So I just thought I'd show you that now. Now, here we've got my friend Brian, uh, just got a simple gray backdrop, and we've got the large Octa here from Ellen Crom. This is the 175 Octa. Now, what I've actually got with this is, it's literally side onto Brian. So all the light is gonna come straight onto the side of him here. Now, I'll quickly flash up a picture on screen now. And this shows you the kind of light that's giving. So straight away you can see there's lots of light on the one side, but we've got hardly anything at all on the other side. And we want a little bit of a triangle. So how do we position the light? Well, it's really, really simple. All we do is we get our modifier and we drag it away from them. So I'm actually gonna bring it quite a bit far forward of Brian. Let's have a look, just bring it to around about here somewhere like that. Now, all I'm gonna to do to make sure it's in the right place, rather than me taking test shot after test shot, all I'm gonna do is get nice and close to the modifier and just look straight across to Brian. Now, I'm gonna get him so that he's looking in the direction we're gonna take the picture, which is straight ahead here, mate, that's great. So I get him nice and tight to the modifier, and if I look straight across, and as my line of sight goes across here, if I can see this other cheek, so can the modifier. So the light's gonna land on that cheek there. So now that I've moved it far forward, you can probably see from the video that it is actually quite far forward of him. We'll take a quick shot. Let's post that picture up on screen now. And that's the kind of light you're gonna get. So you can play with it how much you want on the other side of the face by how far forward you put that light. Because the further forward you take that, more of the modifier is gonna start to creep around and see that side of the face and light it up. Now it's exactly the same, even if I just bend down here, you're not using a big 175 Octa, you might even be using one of these things. Now I'm using, um, this is a Fotix, uh, I think I said it right, uh, speed light with one of these rogue flash bender modifiers. Exactly the same process. You might put it on a light stand, you might have somebody holding it. But if I was gonna take a picture of Brian using this modifier, I'd position it maybe around about here, I'd get it nice and close, and if I look straight across, and if I can see that other cheek, so can the light from the modifier. Simple as that. So it's a really quick one for you, something for you to try, cross lighting or Rembrandt lighting. I'll see you next week.